Hello everyone, my name is Bob, and uh, we are playing uh, Cheapo's uh, Space Program. Uh, you may be wondering what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm actually um, docking with the uh, Palute station because uh, this is my flying um, lunar fuel can. Uh, and I'm trying to um, uh, do two things uh, here at the Palute. Uh, I'm trying to uh, get uh, refueled, which uh, is not a biggie because I, I don't really use that much fuel in here. Uh, but also, I am planning to actually use this uh, as a uh, fuel supply on my uh, trek out to uh, out to the moon. Moon. Uh, which is going to make for a rather unusual. Um, package um, uh, sort of an L-shaped rocket here uh, but um, this thing has a lot of fuel in it and uh, I don't really need it for the station itself uh, or certainly don't need it right now for the station uh, so um, I'm going to attempt to actually carry that along with me a part of the way to the MUN uh, to use as a f fuel supply. You see I have a docking port on the rocket itself, uh, which is a good thing. Okay, a little forward motion. A little off to the side here. I don't need this, at least not at present, at the Palute. Uh, this is the Palute, uh, the core of the Palute station right here. Uh, and I do need it um, to help me get as much fuel as possible to the um, uh, to our moon mission in progress. So. Uh, however, like I say, it's going to be rather a ungainly rocket shape or an unbalanced rocket shape. It may just spin in circles when I try to get it somewhere. Uh, probably have to use a lot of RCS, uh, but the good thing is this thing, thing I think has a, a ton of RCS on it, so it shouldn't be really be a problem. I don't think. <laughs> Famous last words. Pushing this real gradual like. I was worried about these fins getting in the way, but um, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, need some upward motion. Not seeing a lot of, tra of traction right now. Okay, that was that was a uh, very smooth docking. Uh, this has, still has a respectable amount of uh, fuel left in it. So what I'm going to do first is F5, and I'm going to take a short break and contemplate what I'm what it is I'm contemplating here because. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is uh, if you uh, imagine this part being absent, I'm going to basically try to push an L-shaped rocket to the moon, uh, which I would imagine is going to require a lot of RCS fuel, uh, which fortunately we have a lot of, um, because otherwise I would think it would just spin around in circles, which it might do anyway. Um, 
So I'm going to take a short break, and then we will catch up when we're ready to separate this strange assembly from the uh, Palute. Okay, I'm pulling away from the station, or the station core, and we are going to attempt to do a moonshot on this thing. Uh, it's acting stable so far. Not anymore. Nope, nope, nope. That is not working. That is rocking and rolling. RCS off. Okay, unfortunately there's no people in this, or they begin getting sick. Let's go up and fill up the, uh, you had to fill up the, uh, monopropellant tanks. And we'll have to uh, leave this uh, out here in space. I'm spinning, dude. You make me sick. Okay. Full. Not full. <coughs> We're gonna have to wait for the next uh, go round here. No, we lost our chance to. Uh, go to the moon this time around. Okay, so that one wasn't going to work. Okay, let's pull up. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I have that engine running. Maybe I sh I, it'll work now. <coughs> but in any case, i got to wait till the next go-round. Before I can attempt. Uh, I know we're going to have to uh, kind of start a little early because, um, oh, hello, uh, because, uh, okay,
Now, there's one of this nuclear engine <coughs> doesn't have a whole lot of thrust, so. I'm still kind of dubious of this working. Oh, well, it's working a lot better. And yeah, these engines must have been on. Well, nope. nope. What, what was I drawing fuel from? Okay. RCS off, please. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Stabilize this thing in case I ever... Whoa! In case I ever decide to uh, make use of this again, let's try to stabilize it. Alright, well then screw it. I'll stabilize it on its own. Okay. Nope. Yes. Uh, may still have enough time to make it. I started out plenty early. Uh, take a look. Okay, stop being janky. Okay, screw it. We're going to go for it. Full power. I won't be able to bring all the fuel to it, but uh, to the um, to the ship. But uh, whoa! Turn. I just saw that glow, and was like, "Oh shit! It's about to explode!" But no, it's fine. Just overheating a little bit. This look kind of cool, though. <coughs> yeah, let's watch our trajectory here. <sighs> the moon's just rising. Be okay. Okay, well, this may take a little while. Okay, we got a lunar rendezvous and uh, we've still got a respectable amount of fuel left, uh, at least relative to the fuel capacity of the uh, tanks we're refilling. Um, and if there's anything left here, I'll use this uh, this stage to deorbit the um, the uh, spacecraft, uh, and uh, then our first moon expedition will be heading to the surface. Uh, and I've gotten very little margin when I when I actually get to that point. I've very little margin for waste, uh, so we'll pretty much wait till the last possible minute, slam on full thrust, hope for the best. I uh, hope Bob Kerman. Uh, survives, uh, and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, heading into my lunar insertion burn. Uh, I had a crash uh, previously uh, and had to uh, restart, uh, but uh, everything appears to be functioning functioning uh, in an appropriate way. 
Let's hit a quick save right quick. Okay. Estimated burn, I don't know, but I bet it's a lot. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, well, no, I've anticipated the periapsis pretty pretty well here, so we'll go ahead and uh, do this at the uh, at the time it says. Go ahead and pop out my panel so I can generate some electricity. And I just missed my counter, but that's okay. It's all good. Whoa! Okay. Uh, and I'm a good distance um, uh, off uh, an inclination from. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, good enough. I'm a, a good bit of inclination, off, a good bit of degrees of inclination off from. Uh, my target. But we should have enough uh, fuel here to uh, uh, rendezvous with the uh, with the uh, capsule the capsule and uh, complete the mission including the, uh, the landing on the Mun. Got to watch my periapsis because um, it's at 7,000 meters now, and I don't really want to get it a whole lot less than 7,000. Yeah, okay. What the hell? What the Sam Hill is going on there? Now whatever it is I, I said is my... Yeah, okay. That. Uh, let's see if we can get... That will be uh, north. Come on. 37 seconds. Don't have a whole lot of time here. That's it. Uh, probably ought to start at least a couple seconds early. Quite a few seconds early as it happens. Yeah, because that's just barely making a dent. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait till, till the next pass round. Warp around to our apoapsis and give us a little breathing room on that side. Alrighty then. Uh.
Got to be careful about leaving the um, RCS on. Uh, thus far, it hasn't hurt me too bad, but uh, in theory, it could uh, could cause some drain. That's good enough. I'll pop that out to about yeah, like there, or a little more. Yeah, because we're gonna need to bring this down quite a, quite a lot, uh, and we're gonna need to. Um, and that's going to bring this down also. So. and 15. That'll work. I am using up a bit of fuel here, uh, but um, hoping that it won't make that much difference. And it'll at least get my Diabert burn, burn done on uh, this this fuel, leaving the the, the uh, rest of the fuel tanks full uh, for the descent in a perfect world, which, as we all know, especially Kerbal Space Program, is not a perfect world. Not even kind of, not close. In fact, if poor Bob Kerman manages to survive this, I will be very much. Uh, very much surprised, yeah. Oh, and and fuck, and it's going a totally different direction too. Oh, that's good. Well, that changes what my inclination burn is going to have to be. Good thing I didn't waste too much uh, fuel on the the burn the first time around. This homeboy is going a totally different direction. All right, good enough. Okay, if I have at least half this left, um, by the time it's all said and done, I'll be fairly happy. Oh shit, how should I go? Oh, uh, fuck. How about we just screw that, screw that and um, do it by eye. Oops. Yep, he sure enough is going totally different direction. Well, that shit sucks. And these inclination burns can be kind of expensive in terms of fuel. And shit, why am I going north? I'm going south.
bueno, bueno. That's yeah, really gonna suck down that old fuel. God damn it. That's gonna suck down the fuel like it's going out of style. Shit brick. Yeah, it's sucking down the fuel. I probably won't be able to use this as a descent stage, which maybe just as well. Okay, well I'm gonna wait till I get to no to the other node or until I get around here again uh, and um, give it another shot because I'm, I'm well past the uh, the, the uh, node here. So uh, let me let me uh, let me wrestle with this for a little while and I'll I'll start recording when I'm actually getting somewhere. Okay, after all this hassle, I'm only gonna be able to, to bring them a pittance of fuel. I uh, hope it's gonna be enough to allow for the uh, landing. Okay, coming up on a burn. It says estimated burn one second. I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> we will give ourselves two seconds leeway. Yeah, see, I ain't no tech fucking second, two second burn. Not in any freaking way. Two minute burn, maybe. And we got a, a intersect coming up here. I'm gonna need to, um, come around the uh, flip side uh, and um, well okay well I thought we had an intersect perhaps we don't uh, in any case I'm gonna have to come around here bring this side down a bit I'm gonna wrestle with this a bit more see what we can do okay let me tell you what I had to do um, the other other cargo ship wasn't gonna make it I launched a fresh one uh, I screwed up its um, uh, its direction at, uh, at the boon too but I was able to catch it soon enough that uh, I didn't uh, have to, to waste too much fuel. I wasted some, but uh, wasted less than I had before. Uh, and now I'm coming up with a rendezvous with the, uh, with the ship.
They're coming in a little hot. Uh, I'm not going to worry about breaking until I get under 200 meters. control on. Okay, 0 0.7 meters second. Uh oh, oh, oh. Okay. Let me get in uh, chase. Even though I don't have the big solar panels deployed, I still have plenty of juice. Uh, I'm not using that much for just the, the brains. We got a little more than half a tank uh, in the, the fuel tank, so. And uh, we'll probably have to, probably will be enough to for us to attempt the uh, landing. We shall see when I actually get there. All right, let's break a little bit. Let's hop over here and uh, get this bad boy pointed the right way. Yeah, yeah, okay. SAS off. This actually maneuvers much uh, more easily on um, SAS alone than the uh, the fuel can does. Switch over. Put that as my target. Why my my uh, uh that's acting so uh so janky, but that's whatever. Whatever's actually let's uh, lift up a little bit because I'm gonna have to kind of point down to get docked. I don't know if I'm going to have time uh, to um, uh, actually land this this bitch or not uh, today. Uh, we're going to have to uh, I'm going to have to look and see how much I got recorded. Okay, let's check upward motion. Okay. 
and our RCS off. This thing is very slow to maneuver on SAS alone. Doesn't maneuver that great on uh, RCS for that matter. That's okay, it's supposed to be a fuel can, not supposed to be. Oops, wrong way. Right now it's showing uh, 0 0.5 uh, meters a second, but uh, partially that's because I'm, I'm rising up on it so fast. I'm going to, uh, when I cancel out this motion right about here, it's going to drop off probably pretty significantly. Which is what we like. We like to uh, approach things slow. Especially after putting all this much work, in, work into trying to get these two together. I don't want to screw up the, the junction. Okay. Rotation, that's about right. Lift the nose up a little bit. That's good. Yeah, see now our motion, the relative motion is down to 0.1 meters a second. Yeah, plenty of RCS. Yeah, let's get you in here a little closer.
nice and easy does it. Okay, up, 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 back off, up. Okay, cancel that. Move forward. Okay, cancel. Up a tear up a hair. Forward. Up a hair. Up a hair. Nice and easy does it. Not in a race. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa. Let's turn the SAS off. <laughs> That's wobbly. Okay, F5. Before anything goes wrong, F5. That's full. Whoa. In, in. Okay. In and in. <coughs> okay, now all these tanks are full. Okay, and we have enough fuel there to uh, deorbit the assembled, assembled uh, melange. Shut that down. Shut that down. Shut that down. And shut that down. Okay. Shit. Oh man. Okay, yeah, let me check and see how much I've recorded, uh, see how much um, uh, room we have as far as doing the landing goes, and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got 44 minutes recorded, uh, and I usually go to an hour, but I'd rather go ahead and do the, um, the whole descent and landing thing on a, a fresh um, a fresh episode. Um, I don't want to feel like, because uh, it may take us more than, more than one try. Uh, uh, we're, we're dealing with very thin uh, tolerances here. Um, so that's what I'll do is we'll call this episode quits uh, and um, and start it back up again again next time. Let me check and make sure that we're not uh, don't have some sort of funky uh, 9,000 and 9,000. Okay, that's looking good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start this up again uh, next time. Let me go ahead and deploy these... Uh, panels okay and so our plan for uh, next time is uh, to uh, use this engine uh, to get our descent at least started um, maybe I'll get it all the way going towards um, uh, the ground there uh, jettison that reactivate this engine uh, and uh, flip around <laughs> and uh, land it uh, so how that will work because I got to land it with this thing on it. Uh, I don't think that's going to be enough to get us back to Kerbin. So um, uh, I'm going to probably I'm going to start the uh, the uh, descent process with this engine, uh, jettison that, start this one up, and use this uh, to uh, get us down to the surface. 
Uh, which is kind of iffy because this this uh, this fuel tank doesn't carry much fuel, and so I'm going to be transferring fuel while I'm trying to do the descent. So it could be could be tricky. Um, so, but we're I, and I, I really feel, I feel better with uh, having a, a fresh uh, having a fresh episode to work with. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, so next time, uh, Bob Kerman, <laughs> the, the uh, unintended astronaut on this mission. I was going to send Jebediah, but I forgot to <laughs> forgot to load him into the capsule. So he's back at the station. Uh, <laughs> uh, so um, uh, he is uh, potentially going to be the first Kerbal in this uh, in this save anyway to uh, land on the Mun um, and uh, or just flat onto the Mun, whichever the case may be. Uh, he may be the first uh, Kerbal to. Um, to be catapulted to the surface of the mun, considering the problem we've had with this um, this door here. Uh, so uh, all of that will happen uh, next time. So until I see you then, hasta la vista. Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> Take your meds. Stop screaming. <laughs>